How's our celebrity hoodlum? I can't believe the DA's office is actually making me take this one to trial. He beat up a fan, and they found cocaine in his pocket. What should they do, make a movie of the week? <laughs> this is simple assault and less than a gram of cocaine. They usually plead these things out, only in this case the deputy DA likes to see her face on the nightly news. And on the subject of entertainment, how's our producer Gordon Bass doing? Uh, he's, uh, he's still unhappy, Douglas. We filed a complaint against the studio, but uh, he wants instant results. Uh, he will be in tomorrow, so uh, you all might want to close your doors. <sighs> Wonderful. Rona versus Gratinger. Well, the more I go over this, the more convinced I am the parties really want a reconciliation. Are you nuts? I'm going to bring them in for a little heart to heart. I think they can work it out. This isn't a coffee clutch, Miss Perkins. This is a complex breach of contract case involving millions of dollars. The bottom line is that we are talking about two ex-best friends suing each other over muffin recipes. And from everything I've seen, they're looking for an excuse to get back together. This is insanity. I know what I'm doing. Abby has the matter in hand, Douglas. Next case. There is no next case. We're adjourned. Do you want to get a cup of coffee? Sure, yes. Stuart, you got a minute? Yeah. What's up? Mike, what? I got some bad news. What? It's my mother. Is she sick? Worse. She's in San Francisco with some tour group, and she wants to jump off and fly down here tonight. Well, that's, uh, that's not so unreasonable. Is uh, she going to stay with us? No. She stays with some old college roommate in Hancock Park. What's the big deal? What? She's not sophisticated in a lot of ways, Stuart. I'm just afraid you're not going to like her. And she's your mom. I'm going to love her. Don't underestimate me, okay? I happen to be amazing around moms. When I was in high school, all of my crushes on me. It was the, the daughters I had trouble with. Trust me, okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Whoa. We're stuck. Oh, dear. Hello? Hello, we're, we're stuck in here. Okay, we're on it. Uh, how long do you think it'll take? Uh, we're sending a man right now. Okay, thank you. It shouldn't be real long. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. God, I feel like such a fool. Here. Thank you. It's okay. I was in with my divorce lawyer all morning. Mm-hmm. That'll do it all right. You divorced? No, actually, I've never been married. I just could imagine how difficult it must be seeing your marriage die. I... Not this marriage. Even in front of those two lawyers up there, my husband was still so abusive towards me. Yeah. I mean, finally, I just had to run out of there. And then you get stuck in an elevator. I guess this just isn't your day. Yeah, no maybe. No I'm sorry, maybe not. Anyway, I'm Lauren Sevilla. I think this is Fuentes, right? How do you do? Nice to meet you. Nice. So you work in this building? Mm -hmm. A lawyer, then? Oh, no, you mean I'm really starting to look like one? <laughs> yeah, well, oh. Great. We're moving. Oh, good. Great. You know, I can guarantee you, if I were trapped in here with a dozen screaming kids, they would have taken at least an hour to get me out. <laughs> look, what would you say to continuing this uh, over lunch? Well, uh... Oh. Oh. Thank you very much, anyway, but uh, okay. I better not. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mr. Sapuentes? Hello. Hello. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Uh, no, no, not at all. Come in, please. Thank you. 
I wanted to return this to you. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. Sit down. I'd also like to explain that I, I did want to have lunch with you yesterday. So why did you say no? Oh, I'll explain. My husband, Armand Sevilla. The land developer? Yeah. He, he's a man very used to getting his own way. And this divorce, he never wanted it. He's made certain threats. And you're frightened of him? Yes. I'm very frightened of him. Well, I'm not. Isn't she smart, beautiful, funny? You're rolling your eyes. You're rolling your eyes. <laughs> well, forgive me if it sounds like maybe I've heard this story from you before. Every time I see a headlight, or I, I hear a car slow down, I think it's my husband. I picture him dragging me across the floor by my hair or hitting me in the face. God. Will I ever stop being frightened? Lauren. He has no idea where you are. And even if he did, nothing's going to happen to you. How can you be so sure? I'll protect you. Truth is, I feel safe with you. You would protect me. Yes, I would. And in return? Nothing. Nothing. Victor, would it be all right if I stayed here tonight? Sure. And look, Lauren, there's no pressure. You can have the guest bedroom. There's clean sheets. There's a radio next to the bed. And you'll have a bodyguard sleeping in the next room. What more could you want? Ten months ago. It's fine. As long as you promise me that you'll come back. Here. After. Yeah. You don't know how much you mean to me. Trying to bribe the opposition, Conrad? 
My way of wishing you an extremely Merry Christmas, Grace. And an extremely Merry Christmas to you.